with the upcoming release of the new Barbie film, The World Has Gone Barbie Mad. And who better to talk about the Barbie car fashion trend with than designer Gabby Iwalani Hall from Sparkle Fairy Couture. <laughs> Obviously, like the Barbie film is coming out, isn't it, this year, yep. which I think is going to be a huge trend um, for Barbie car and all of that. Type yeah. of. Do you think that's going to really impact your business? Do you think that's going to um, bring a lot of new customers into this kind of idea of uh, Sparkle? Yeah, you know what? I really hope so. I think, um, you know, there's already the girls that love the pink, the Barbie, but I feel like having having that movie come out and girls being inspired to dress a little bit like more you know, colorful, pink, Barbie, you know, fabulous, definitely will be something great for Sparkle. Um, and also girls in general to see, like, make them feel like they can step out of their comfort zone. I also think it's really interesting because we seem to have gone through a point where historically er women did dress that way. It was all about being very feminine yeah. and very pink and girly and all of that thing. Yeah. And then we really seemed to move to the other way of it being more power dressing and exploring androgyny and all of that yeah. type of thing because we were, you know, we were feminists and we were standing up for ourselves and we didn't have to, you know, embrace our feminine sides as much and, you know, be seen as these delicate, colourful female characters whereas I think now it's going back the other way again where women have realized well actually you can dress head to toe in sparkles and pink <laughs> and feathers and you know whatever you want yeah. to but you can still be a powerful woman and a feminist and a businesswoman and a business owner and yeah. not be judged on that yeah I 100 I 110 percent agree I mean I've always thought that I think that it's you should embrace your femininity femininity and you can also be a boss and all of the things that you want as well um i also think there was a time where we went through like i don't know this neutral all black really like kind of darker phase maybe it had something to do with the world the environment whatever but um yeah i think wearing color and embracing the femininity brings a lot of positivity to the world and like kind of changes people's days i mean when i'm walking around or i've had a endless customers say when they walk around in sparkle like it actually makes people smile and happy and kind of like changes the momentum of the day so i'm really excited for that movie to come out and i hope that it's a huge success for sparkle as well i can imagine it will be i can imagine there'll be a lot of people who really embrace that trend and are looking for brands like yours yeah that really have that focus but in a really authentic way. It's not like you've jumped on the bandwagon because you knew the movie was coming out. This has been your brand ethos from very day one. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, funny enough, um, I used to design my clothes on, on Barbies. So when I was first designing, I would make miniature versions of my clothes and I'd also host Barbie making parties. So I would like buy a whole bunch of Barbies and I'd set it all up and girls could use my spare fabric and rhinestones and whatever. And then they could create their dream outfit for their Barbie. So that's kind of been my thing for like the last nine years, kind of letting girls express themselves, create and also have fun. It's like, we're not too old to party and play with dolls. <laughs>